DVA stating loss, an inside look at the tumultuous relationship history of the music superstar Sinead O'Connor, who went unexpectedly at the young age of 56. The Irish singer's ballad Nothing Compares to You, which was initially published in the year 1990, is largely regarded as being among the most famous songs to come out of the decade of the 1990s. In a statement that was distributed by the singer's family, they said, it is with great sadness that we announce the passing of our beloved Sinyad. Her family and friends are absolutely heartbroken, and during this extremely trying time, they ask that you respect their request for privacy. Sinead married John Reynolds, a music producer, in 1987. Prior to their marriage, the couple had been dating for a number of years. In the years that followed the birth of her daughter Roizen in 1995, she and Irish author John Waters were involved in a contentious battle over custody of Roizen. The duration of this fight was measured in years. The protracted argument was finally resolved when Synod conceded to Rosen's request that she be allowed to move in with Waters in Dublin. In the year 2001, O'Connor and the author Nick Summerled tied the knot, but the following year, in 2004, the couple filed for divorce and ended their marriage. In 2004, she gave birth to her third son, Shane, with artist Donna Lunny, and in 2006, she gave birth to her fourth son, Yeshua, with Frank Bonadio. Both of her sons were born to her as a result of her relationships with Donna Lunny and Frank Bonadio. Sinead finally tied the wedding with her longtime partner Steve Cooney in 2010. However, the marriage lasted only a single year before the two decided to part ways. The breakup of her most recent marriage, to psychologist Barry Herridge, occurred after the couple had only lived together for a week. In 2003, O'Connor said that she had been in three separate relationships with a variety of women and that she had also been married once. The famous person announced the death of her son Shane, who was 17 years old at the time, in January of the previous year and promised that she would never sing again after making this announcement. According to the story, Sinid broke the news to everyone that Shane made the decision to end his earthly struggle today and is now with God. Following that, she offered the following clarification, just to say, suggestions that there will be any performances this year or next year or ever again are incorrect. There won't ever be another cause to burst out in song again, the speaker said. Sinead gave Shane's funeral rites, which were in accordance with Hindu custom, and she placed a pack of smokes inside his coffin. We just said our goodbyes to our beautiful angel, Shani, she added. We will miss her very much. That was the most breathtaking Hindu ceremony I've ever seen. That was just the kind of thing that Shane would have enjoyed doing. He never faltered in his recitation of the mantra Om Shanti. Just in case there aren't any cigarettes in heaven, I put a few packs of cigarettes in the casket for him. I told him, I put a few packs of cigarettes in the casket for him. It's quite possible that he appreciated that to the same degree. Om Shanti. The most recent pictures taken of Sinead were taken in March of this year in Dublin at the RT Gay Choice Music Accolade. She was awarded the accolade for Best Classic Irish Album during the event. In the heartbreaking images, O'Connor can be seen laughing, smiling, and even giving the middle finger to her many admirers. Within a message that she sent on Twitter on June 6 of this year, Sinead included a reference to a Hawaiian blessing. The following was written as the dedication. This is dedicated to the many upon whom I have in my life so far brought suffering, and it is also with love for anyone who has in their lives so far brought suffering upon me. The last thing that O'Connor published to her Instagram account was a photo of herself smiling that she posted on June 7, 2016, and it was in black and white. In the picture, the singer can be seen standing in front of an unadorned wall while wearing a simple black t-shirt and having a pessimistic expression on his face. The following was written as the caption for the post, Love the life you have and be grateful for what you are. After being reported missing from Talad Hospital in January of the previous year, Shane O'Connor, age 17, the star's fourth child, passed away unexpectedly in January of that year. Before he vanished, Shane had been struggling with mental illness for a number of years before to his abduction. Sinned was born on December 8, 1966 in Glenagery, 
which is located in County Dublin. She was one of five children that were raised in a Roman Catholic household. Sinad's religious upbringing was Roman Catholic. The old adage advises, love the life you have, so to speak. Following the tragic passing of legendary singer Sinad O'Connor at the young age of 56, the devastating farewell note that she wrote has been made public. The Irish singer's ballad, Nothing Compares to You, which was initially published in the year 1990, is largely regarded as being among the most famous songs to come out of the decade of the 1990s. In a statement that was distributed by the singer's family, they said, It is with great sadness that we announce the passing of our beloved Sinad. Her family and friends are absolutely heartbroken, and during this extremely trying time, they ask that you respect their request for privacy. Within a message that she sent on Twitter on June 6 of this year, Sinad included a reference to a Hawaiian blessing. The following was written as the dedication. This is dedicated to the many upon whom I have in my life so far brought suffering, and it is also with love for anyone who has in their lives so far brought suffering upon me. The last thing that O'Connor published to her Instagram account was a photo of herself smiling that she posted on June 7, 2016, and it was in black and white. In the picture, the singer can be seen standing in front of an unadorned wall while wearing a simple black t-shirt and having a pessimistic expression on his face. The following was written as the caption for the post, Love the life you have and be grateful for what you are. After being reported missing from Talat Hospital in January of the previous year, Shane O'Connor, age 17, the star's fourth child, passed away unexpectedly in January of that year. Before he vanished, Shane had been struggling with mental illness for a number of years before to his abduction. Sinead was born on December 8, 1966 in Glenagery, which is located in County Dublin. She was one of five children that were raised in a Roman Catholic household. Sinad's religious upbringing was Roman Catholic. She was sent to one of the Magdalene asylums for a period of one year and 18 months when she was a teenager because she had a difficult time controlling her behavior, which included stealing and skipping school. There, she came to realize that singing was her true calling, and in 1984, she met Calm Farrelly, with whom she later formed a band called Ton Ton Macout. During this time, she was also able to find her passion for singing. It was during this period that she was able to discover her own voice.